hold it, Mr. DJ. Let me be honest. Nigerians are my to be a popo and not to join in any studio. My shady popo. Can you be called popo and agree? Gele, gele. Can you be called that and agree? What is that? Gele, gele, maybe nim to a meishiwa. Popo, maybe nikifala. My shady popo. Nothing. Popo, nothing. But, ladies and gentlemen, talking of Nigerians, tonight, I'm here in Zakara night. I have a friend of mine who've traveled all the way from Nigeria. Uh, all the way from Nigeria, I know you love this guy. He's a comedian, and I want you to appreciate him in a Kenyan way. Sawa, sawa. Come on, Akapo, I'm a dame. Atuna Shida Mufrayeni. Juni Kumuona, tu. So, ladies and gentlemen, show your love for this Nigerian comedian, one and only, Dr. Shogo. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Okay, the people that are not responding, they've not paid their salary. Uh -huh. All right, uh, I got into Kenya last week and I discovered there's trade fair going on. So I went for the trade fair two days ago. While we were walking through the trade fair, I discovered that by the way, just like every African country, Kenya is multicultural in nature. We have the Kikuyus, we have the Luyas, we have the Luos. I love the Kikuyu tribe so much because, <laughs> all right, make some noise if you're Kikuyu. <laughs> Woo! Now, the, the reason why I love Kikuyus is because they see everything from the business perspective. So I came to a conclusion that where two or three Kikuyu men are gathered, business must be there. Now, the, I, as I was walking through the trade fair, there was this pastor walking through the stand. So I saw this low man selling bread. So the pastor asked, the, uh, the law man was like, Pastor, buy bread, buy bread, buy bread. Ah, ah. The pastor looked at the law man. He said, my friend, where is it written in the Bible that I must buy bread? Give me the scriptural reason. He said, ah, pastor, the Bible said I am the bread of life. Ah. Pastor was happy. He bought the bread. As he was walking, he saw this lawyer man saying, apple. He said, pastor, buy apple, buy apple, buy apple. Ah. The pastor looked at him. Give me a reason why I must buy this apple. He said, ah, pastor, the Bible said I am the apple of God's eyes. Ah. Pastor was happy. He bought it. As the pastor was walking, he got to Kikuyu man stand selling yam. And he was like, Pastor, buy yam, buy yam, buy yam. Ah. The pastor said, give me a scriptural reason why I must buy this yam. And you know, from Genesis to Revelation, God did not mention yam. But trust Kikuyu man. He said, ah, Pastor, what is it? The Bible says, I am that I am. <laughs> Kikuyu make some noise. All right. Now, another thing I discovered in Kenya that I love so much, there are a lot of shopping malls. There are a lot of shopping malls in Kenya. There are a lot of shopping malls in Nairobi. And uh, I sat down one of the days I went to eat. I noticed something in Nairobi. When a man and a woman goes to the eatery to eat, they go to fast food joint. From the positioning, you will know if the man has money or not. Now, if the man has money, he's going with his girlfriend. The girlfriend will be in the front. The man will be at the back. The girl will be walking in front. The boy will even be answering, called, hello? Yeah, Jeff, how are you? Okay, happy? Okay, don't worry. The girl will be in front, making her that. Please give me pizza, chicken, ice cream, everything. La, la, la. The guy will pay. But if the boyfriend does not have money, the boyfriend and the girlfriend, they will arrive at the counter at the same time. Why? <laughs> As the girl is making her that, he's looking at the price list. Wa, la, 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 la. Oh boy, please give me pizza. Takes money for my tattoo, it's almost gone. <laughs> uh, give me ice cream. Huh? Give me rice and chicken. Say, my dear, my dear, there's rice at home. Let's go. There's rice at home. Let's go. <laughs> now, when I was in primary four, the English teacher came to class. Well, like, student, today you're coming out, we're going to do something unique. You come out, you tell us your name, and you make a word with each alphabet in your name. Hey, Rose, come out. So, Rose came out. I said, good morning, class. My name is Rose. R for Rose. O for Orange. S for Street. And E for Elephant. I'm shy. She went. There's this boy in our class, very troublesome, Romanos. Romanos was hiding. Hey, he said, hey, Romanos, come out. Do the same thing. When Romanos came, he said, good morning, class. My name is Romanos. R for Romanos. <laughs> O for Omanos. 
M for Manus, A for Anus, U for Us, S for Sh. Thank you very much. For lucky, give me love. Oh.